shares of Paytm crashed 40% in the last two days. Today, that is on February 2, the stock was trading at 487.2 rupees after crashing 20% from yesterday's close. The company lost $2.1 billion in market capitalization in the last two days. This comes after RBI barred Paytm Payments Bank from performing banking services from February 29. So the bank will not be able to accept deposits or give credits to its customers. Only withdrawals are permitted after this date. Why did this happen? How does it impact you as a customer? And will the stock keep falling? We tell you in this video. Let's dive in. The stock crash comes after RBI on January 31 issued a strong statement to impose restrictions on Paytm Payments Bank. It said that the Payments Bank will be barred from giving banking services to its customers. The decision comes as a response to system audit report and subsequent validation report conducted by external auditors. The report found that there was persistent non-compliance and continued material supervisory concerns with the bank. As per reports, audit found that proper KYC measures were not taken and regular related party transactions with other Paytm Group companies was also an issue. The central bank directed that Nodel accounts of the parent company 197 Communications and Paytm be terminated. But this did not come as a sudden blow. The company has been having issues with the regulator as per reports. In March 2022, RBI barred the bank from onboarding new customers with immediate effect and this order is still in force. Paytm controls around 13% of the market share in India. As per reports, the company has 500 million customers in India and has opened 30 million bank accounts. So well, the customer base is huge. Now how does this impact you as a customer? As a customer, you can still withdraw funds from your Paytm account. Services like fund transfer, bill payments and UPI payments will still be available. Which means you cannot deposit funds in your Paytm account, your uh, prepaid instruments, fast tags, NCMC after February 29. Now as an investor, what is the next step? Listen in to Nikunj Dalmia. The crux of the business model has changed, right? And if the crux of the business model has to change, they don't have to take a detour. They will have to reimagine themselves. And that reimagination will come at a cost. It will cost come at a cost of. Uh, it will come at a cost of what will happen to. It will come at a cost of uh, revenue. It will come at a cost of operating cost, and it will also come at a cost of time when they'll have to come up with the new architecture. Look, this is not the end of the road for Paytm. I'm sure they will come out. But what the assumptions were as to where the franchise was moving, how the payment business is going to move, how the wallet business was evolving, what will happen to the insurance business, all that changes. B, Paytm was not cheap. Even at the current market cap, just look at the market cap. I mean, the market cap for Paytm is not very cheap. C, <clears throat> you have a lot of folks who bought actually into Paytm because uh, of hope trade. Okay, you know, the fintech space is improving, Paytm is improving, it's a market leader, it's a great brand. A lot of those sort of weak hands which bought into Paytm after the recent rise, they would be tempted now to get out. And then there is continuous supply which keeps on coming from anchor investor. So I'm not saying it's end of the road, but the point we just want to bring out for our viewers is that there is going to be more supply than demand in the near term and you should not be tempted to buy Paytm even if it goes down 25 or 30 percent from here. It is better to buy Paytm when you get clarity as to how are they likely to re-architecture themselves and also ask yourself this very big question while Paytm may be coming out and and saying that look we don't know why the regulator nothing does nothing without a why. I mean there must be a backstory which we are not aware of or maybe Reserve Bank of India does not want to share but there is never a why when it comes to a regulatory regime because if regulator has given you permission to do it there is a check and balance and a framework which you have yeah. to bring and if you're not following it then it's a cross so i want to know the why before i decide what is next for paytm and for me that is a bit of a that you know sanduk right now which i don't have the digital lock key for as far as brokerages are concerned they have also downgraded their ratings jeffries has downgraded paytm to underperform and reduce target price to 500 rupees from 1050 rupees Motilal Oswal has also downgraded Paytm's rating to neutral with reduced target price of 575 rupees. Macquire has said that the ban is quite serious and it will hamper Paytm's ability to retain customers in its ecosystem. And this has come on February 1, the brokerage view. 
so the stock fell 20% on February 2 as well. Company's founder Vijay Shekhar Sharma has said that the customers will be able to use Paytm even after February 29. He said, and I quote, for every challenge there is a solution. So what is the next step for the company? We will see. But you keep following ET now for more such news and views. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET now.